Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for another bonus episode in this series in which I'm sharing our family's experiences in the last year of our daughter Hannah's life, which spanned from February 2008 through February 2009. My desire is to process through the events of those 12 months with a perspective that 16 years has brought and to point listeners to hope in Jesus along the way. I'm grateful you've joined me. This is bonus episode number 134, Learning to Wait Patiently, November 13th, 2008. We had all thought, rather naively, I suppose, that once this second round of radiation treatments was completed, Hannah would have some time to enjoy just being a typical teenager for a while before starting chemotherapy again. She was excited about the prospect of having a healthy immune system and no longer being isolated. She had not attended school since September when we pulled her out of class to inform her that her cancer had returned and she was anxious to get back. After all, if she was to achieve her goal to be the valedictorian of her senior class next year, she couldn't fall too far behind. We didn't realize how long it would take her body to recover from the extensive radiation she had undergone. After all, she had sailed through the treatments with few visible side effects, but we were beginning to learn that there was a whole host of invisible side effects with which we now had to contend. These invisible side effects were not only keeping Hannah in the hospital and preventing her from going to school, but more importantly, they were delaying the start of her chemotherapy treatments. And there was nothing we could do about it but learn to wait patiently. Here's my email from 16 years ago today. Hannah had a really good night last night and has had a good day today. Her throat is getting much better, and she feels better overall, but her ANC, or immunity, has dropped down to 24. This is the lowest it's ever been. It was 42 on the second day of her last hospitalization. To give you a frame of reference, her ANC has to be at least 500 for her to be unisolated, so this is really low. Her red blood counts were low, too, so they gave her three more units of blood and some additional platelets today. Her blood cultures are negative so far, so that's good news, and it helps that she's feeling better. But it looks like we may be here a while. They've explained to us that the radiation really zapped her bone marrow, and it's just taking it a while to kick in and start producing new blood cells on its own. They tell us that this is normal and not at all unusual after the type of radiation she had. It's been a little bit discouraging, though, because we had actually been starting to talk about Hannah going back to school in the next week or so, but we know we must wait patiently for her body to heal. Please join us in praying specifically that her bone marrow will begin to produce healthy blood cells soon, not just so we can get out of the hospital or so she can start back to school but so we can begin the chemotherapy as soon as possible while those tumors are still feeling the effects of the radiation. Thank you so much for your prayers. We are so thankful that God is good all the time. Jill and Brad. 